Oh, puppy, you tired? You just woke up. My old boy. You're feeling it, huh, honey? <laughs> you got grass stuck to you. Oh, baby. You're such a good boy. You gotta go in. You ready? Come on. Let's go. Oh, you can do it. Oh, yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go. Manu. Nope. Come on. Come on. He's having lunch. He's a big bird. Yeah, they're big. <laughs> See how it's trying to swallow its food? I have been. I, I whistled We Three Kings at him. <laughs> are looking so nice. I've neglected this garden bed of strawberries a little bit in the last week because I've been so focused on main garden. Um, the weeds have just grown all kinds of something in here. So I'm just taking some time uh, to go ahead and leave that. I want to talk about this really neat tool that I recently purchased just it's called a hand cultivator um just like a little rake and obviously you can hold it in your hand <laughs> and it's really nice just to use that in here to loosen up the weeds and then um just pull them out so this thing is pretty cool i really like it i'm kind of like kicking myself like why haven't i gotten one of these before <laughs> but i'm glad i have it now really useful just to get in here and weed these a little bit. So yeah, after I loosen up the area, I can just pull it out. Super easy. Oh no, that part of the strawberry leaf. Oh, well don't do that. Be gentle. size ones and other plants. We're just making it easy to fight them. Which should be hopefully in the next week or so. I know with strawberries um, I've heard that every three years or so it's recommended to buy to start new berries to start new plants because as they mature the berries don't get as big um, which is probably true for some of these I have at really small berries um, and I've had these a lot of the same strawberries for four years um, so I think a lot of them are probably at the end of their life. What I think I will do this year is really mark the ones that have really small roots and make a plan to pull those out. I do think I'd like to get some uh, ever-bearing strawberries. They bear fruit all year round. And this bed here, I mean, 
once everything ripens. That's gonna be about it. Everything's gonna ripen all at once and then it's gonna be done for the year um, with the current berries that we have in here. So I think after I know which ones are, are heavy producers and giving me large berries and which ones aren't anymore, I'm gonna take the smaller ones out and try and get some ever-bearing strawberries. Um, so that way we can continue to have berries throughout the entire summer. This little cultivator makes pretty easy work. And I'm kind of doing this just at a leisurely pace and not rushing to get this done. Luck Yesterday, uh, my mom came over and helped me uh, really finish up the last of the big things in the main garden that we've been working on and that needed to be done and we got it done so it's kind of this breath of relief that <laughs> everything we want to done all the big projects are are, are finished everything's planted that needs to be at this time and we can just let things grow and you know just be kind of in a maintenance mode right now which is why the strawberries became neglected is because I was so involved with the main garden back there I was thinking of trying grass clippings to lay down as the mulch in here um, just so I don't have to buy anything else I don't really need straw for anything else and I don't want to buy a full bale just for this little strawberry bed um, so I'm gonna try using grass clippings I think so I don't have to buy anything new and it's time to mow the grass again we're in the time of year where you need to mow grass Every week. I like to mow the lawn, it's just I didn't have to. That would be three hours a week that I could spend doing something else. I just need to have more gardens. If we have more gardens, then there's less lawn. What do you think about that, Carm? Can we have more gardens and less lawn? <laughs> it's coming along. Almost done, just this little piece left. All right, so. Not too much effort, a little bit of time, and we got a freshly weeded strawberry bed. Walk and see how some things are doing. The yellow iris came out. The one that are thinner like this, smaller, the smaller iris are called flag irises. We have this yellow one, and we've got all these purple guys. The first round of iris that are done, the lighter purple ones, they always come up first and they're done, but the dark ones are still still there. And then these, so if you have iris, I mean, you probably realize um, iris bloom at different stages. So what I've noticed in my garden here is the first ones that come up are these ones here, which are like the lighter purple. And then about a week to a week and a half later or so, the dark, the darker purple one come up and blossom. And then about a week to two weeks after those is when the smaller flag irises will blossom. So I'll see the purple ones first. A short few days later, then the yellow ones will start to come up. But you can see even most of my yellow ones are not out yet. They're just, just now starting. Whereas these, um, you know, started a few days ago. So it's interesting how the different varieties and colors of iris make a difference as to when they blossom. But it's nice because in, you know, in the spring, uh, you can have a continuous um, blossoming of things. Well, I just noticed this, this is pretty cool. This is my yucca plant and it is forming some new, Heads. So these will grow up into really big, tall flowers. That's what this this stalk here is from last year. Uh, and it looks like there might be a couple then this year that come up out of it. That's cool.
That's really pretty when it's bloom. Gotta show the panties. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut a couple of these off and take them in. These flowers are so gorgeous and they smell fantastic. Uh, keep seeing the ants all over them because the ants just love the way they smell too and want to eat them. Look at these. Can't say I blame the ants for enjoying them. Mm. This is good. This bleeding heart is taking off now. It's grown uh, probably two to three inches in the last week or so. I mean, this is just really starting to grow. June 8th, 2020. First ripe strawberry. There she is. Got it before the birdies did. Score. For strawberry. A little sour. I did just brush my teeth. So a little sour. It's still better than the store. That I'm gonna get them from the store. They're, they have no flavor. They're just like all water. All right. Thumbs up.